Hey guys, welcome back. And at long, long last, we finally, finally have an update on the Ultimate. So I'm super excited, we'll go straight in. Let's roll these credits and make a start. So those of you who've been following me for a while will know that I've had a Cruel Ultimate on order since June 2022 and it's currently January 23. And there's been some delays, now I expected to wait three to four months. I was hoping to do the build over over the winter. We're now coming to new season, it hasn't turned up. Now they did send me an update before Christmas and this is what happened. Now, as you can see, there's kind of an issue there with the numbers on the fuselage, I mean, it's not meant to say 00E, it's meant to say 300. So yeah, they laid up the fuselage wrong. It's composite mold, all sprayed in the mold, and the template was the wrong way around, which basically put me to the back of the queue, which of course I wasn't too happy about. Um, they said they bring to the front of the queue, but then of course we've had Christmas, everything shuts down, and then they're getting extremely busy as well at Krill, so now, I'm still waiting. Yep, it's end of January. I'm expect I expect it in January, I expect it before Christmas. Now I'm more likely to be February. So in the meantime, I bought something else. I mean, why not? I saw this little gem come up. So I need my ultimate fix. Ta-da! Here it is. Not quite what you're expecting, but it says ultimate on the side. It says 3D. It's a biplane. Why not? So as you know, I do occasionally look at the classified listings, what's for sale in the forums. Uh, saw this come up for, I need some more action. Wasn't really gonna bother with it until I watched this. Yeah, looks pretty impressive, hey? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna set this up, give you a quick look over it, get a receiver in it, and we're gonna take it flying and see if I can get it prop hanging, just like that guy did. So let's take you off the stand and have a quick look around. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got my stand, so I have to do this on the workbench. My stand is now consumed with Project Blue, which if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. I'll be continuing that build very shortly. Um, but yeah, back to the Ultimate. So this is made by E-Flight. It's an all foam construction. They've been around for quite a few years. Smart technology, I believe, if you're using Spectrum. Don't really know what that means. Perhaps we'll check that out, look that up in a minute. Let's have a look underneath the hatch. So these can run on, I think 3S 2200s was recommended or 4S 2200s. We don't have any of those, but we do have, we'll grab our pit. Oh, we'll see if this fits in it. We have a Forest 2900. Yeah, it looks like that should work. Get that sorted out in a minute. Um, canopy doesn't open up. I guess the servos just are what they are, really. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how they work, as long as they do the job. Let's flip her over. It just kind of is what it is, really, isn't it? Stick the receiver in there, couple of the plugs, elevator rudder, ESC. I think there's a quick release system for the wings. So I suppose we'd better take a look at the wings, really. Now, I have got a laugh because I bought this, obviously, bought the second hand, as I said, and the guy I bought it from gave me the wings in a black bin bag. Now, perhaps he's being generous and saying, keep all the bin bag, you're probably going to need it. We'll find out when we fly it. Let me go and grab these. Okay, so wings, probably good angle as any. Bin bag. Oh, I will keep that and I'll take it with me. What else do we have? Aha, uh -huh. 
instructions. Yeah, looks good. Second bin bag, in case you make lots of mess. Just check out these wings. So first wings, that must be top wing I presume, with the mechanism here. Little ball connectors for the rods to go between the, to both the ailerons. Stiffeners in here. It, it kind of is what it is, guys. You know, it's a, it's a foam model at the end of the day. That's, that's a small wing, isn't it? So I think this is uh, 90 centimeters. Ninety-five centimeters, or those of you that are old school, thirty-seven inches and a bit and a half. Right, fine. There's one wing. Let's have a look at the other wing. Thanks for securing all that. Appreciate it. Interesting little mechanism here for locking these in. I guess that's just like a quick release, we'll find out in a minute. The rod to go between the aid ones of the wing. And obviously the same on the other side. Let's check out the bottom wing. A bit heavier, obviously because it's got the servos in it. There they are, just taped over. Again, it is what it is, it's a foam model. I mean, they are, as you can see from that clip earlier, they do appear to go pretty well. A little quick release mechanism here by the looks of it. Just go in, single, twist, we'll try that out, take that off, another servo, fine, alright let's get it put together, ok so I've thrown a receiver in, using my makeshift stand here which is my chair, uh, let's have a look, of course it connects to the bottom wing, Everyone's wiggling, I'll show you that in a minute. The 4S2900 from Overlander fits in absolutely fine. But I just want to show you the top wing. So bear with me because this is the first time I put it together. But this quick release mechanism is pretty cool. So basically, let's bring that to the camera. You see it just goes through a quarter turn and it will lock it in. Obviously it will lock it through the centerpiece here. Um, let's just show you. Feed that little hook there, hooks underneath the front. It's on, in. Call of a turn. And that's on. That's solid. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm never going to take the wing off because it's going to stay assembled in the van of the year. But it's a nice little mechanism there. The one thing that used to put me off biplanes was all this extra assembly you have to do. So obviously it's double wing and all you have to do is struts. But um, yeah, I like that. So let me put the struts in and then we can uh, show it. goes on the inside. I'm assuming they lean forward because the top wing's further forward. Yes. Oh, they lock. A twist around. Oh, 
Ah. Oh. No, don't do that. Let's try like this um, pin. Simple. Just pull the pin out, push the pin in. Just the one on the other side. So it is just literally a pin mechanism. And that must go through and, and lock in. So push on top. So push in the side of my head, push the pin through, locked in. Say locked in, loosely locked in. No, that one's not working. Why is this? That's better. Right, let's get the top ring on. Just put that loose for a minute. Clip it in, just put that in there loose. Give me a bit of wiggle room. I pulled this pin out already. That's in the slot. Leaves, I'm not doing it on the stand. I know I have more glasses on, so I can't really see what I'm doing, but you know. one let's try and film and pin and all sorts at the same time just pull the pin out put it in the slot just hold the wing together and if you can see that hopefully you can and push it pin back through it's engaging the, the slot that's it it's in nice and secure pretty cool bit fiddly but that is the first time I've done it spin it back round Put the bolt on, twist. Done, let's pick it up, have a look. It's not bad. Feels secure. Anons are still flapping, let's sort those out next. I'm cowboying this without the stand right now. Stay, stay. Okay, so we've got ball joint at one end, hook at the other end. What could possibly go wrong? I could put it the wrong way around, that could go wrong. Right, there we go, clippity clip. Pop that badger on. Let's try the other one. No, Matt, wrong way. Nice and tight at the bottom. Nice clip at the top, right. I'll show you that. There we go. It works. See if they wiggle. Put it that way. There we go, that's better. Nice. I'm dying a little with Expo. 
No, no, that's good. Do you know I'm tempted just to fly like that. So, so we just test the engine. Let's move you out of the way before I end up chopping my fingers off or something. There we go. All right, transmitter. There's the hatch, full effect. Okay, and this lips on. Make sure the cable's out of the way. I'm hoping I'll get a slightly longer flight time. Is that pack in there? All right, it's props clear. Makeshift stand. Let's try it. <coughs> nice. All right, I think we just dialed in a little bit of expo. And then she's ready to go. So let's uh, have a look at that. God, I need to find another stand. That way around? No, that's even worse. I'll tell you what. Let's be on the floor. Brilliant. We go around here. Literally working off the floor in the workshop right now because I've got no space. Right, cool. Right, let's try left aileron. Fifth left, bank left, bank right, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder, and the stick does work. So the ailerons, that one's up, that one's down. Just put a little bit of trim in. Sub trim. That's ailerons two. No, it wasn't hanging on to. Yes, yeah, so it's five channel, two servos for the ailerons, elevator, throttle, rudder, each of five. Wrong way, Matt. That's about there. Which one is one? That feels about right. I won't bother setting up any conditions. I don't do that until uh, after I've flown it. But let's go into AFR. Oh, I need to charge up for tomorrow. Um, one aileron. one. Let's just put a bit of expo in there on the negative. Try 35. I'll do this a little bit more on that actually. Because I've got full movement, let's do 50. You know, this feels a bit better. So just iron it really at this stage, do a bit on the elevator as well. Oh, not, neg not positive, not negative. Let's do 35 in both directions, negative 35. Feeling it around the centre. That's probably gonna be okay for test flight. I'll probably will put in up in some on the rudder as well. So we'll do like that. Do that after the first flight. I might end up putting addition on dialing the, the rate down a little bit. But let's give it a go. So apparently with these as well, you can also reverse the propeller. I might need to read the instructions for that. But anyway, let's go and take it flying. Um, let's hope you'll get longer than the four minutes everybody else is getting with these. Um, yeah, let's take the black bags as well. Let's do it. Okay, we're doing test flight with the E-Flight Ultimate. It's pretty cold down here, but let's uh, give it a go. So let's check the controls over. Up elevator, down elevator, left, right. So I've left it on full controls and just put about 30% expo as you saw earlier. So let's see what happens. Feel 
feels horrible at the moment. Very quickly. I'm going to bring it back in. I've got the right down. <laughs> that was rolling by itself and yeah, it wasn't trimmed at all. But let's dial, dial the rates down and go again. It's back into AFR. Let's drop the ailerons down. Do 70 on those from 100. Let's do the same on the elevator as well. They say this is a big so on 70, let's give it a go. smoother now on 70. Bring it in and see if it's binding, I guess, mate. Get a little bit higher and see if I can get it. I'm still, still hold, holding the elevator. Lots of power. Yeah, still want loads of movement coming out. Yeah, it's like a half throttle, it flies much nicer. Anything to say? <laughs> it's a pig. <laughs> That's a pig at the moment. So once more setting up, it's way too twitchy in the middle still. Even though I've dropped it down 70%, so I've dropped the other ones down a bit further. It seems to want to climb the throttle. So it's like the thrust line's out, but I'm not, maybe the CFG's out, I'm not too sure. I need to fly it again, really. So let's uh, change some of the travel adjust on there, uh, add some more extra in, dial down some rates and give it another go. Right guys, here's the verdict. We've been out here flying this all day, put a few batteries through it, and to be honest with you, it sucks. I don't like it. I mean, sorry if you've got one of these, they look great in the video, but my opinion on this is, it's flying tail heavy, and even if we put some weight up front, it still really doesn't make a massive amount of difference, but then I've got a 4S pack in it, 2900, which is heavier than the recommended, so it shouldn't be tail heavy, it should be nose heavy or anything, but it's just not flying right. 
and also the servos aren't centering on the on the wing so if you leave a bit of left in there it'll carry on rolling left go back to the right it'll carry on rolling right just all over the place so i think the bottom line is the model is just too heavy it's just a heavy it looks great looks amazing great e-flight or maybe with the spectrum setup the smart box whatever it's called and spectrum transmitter it'll probably fly completely differently but for me it's definitely definitely a big no especially when you compare it to my little laser i'll be posting a clip on that there it is on the floor there compared to the laser we we'll post a clip on that shortly so make sure you follow the youtube channel for that but uh, definitely no so hopefully the big ultimate when it finally does arrive if it ever arrives from krill will fly 10 times better than this let's hope so see you next time around guys